here is an introduction to angular kinematic quantities. To begin with, Remember the definition of pi. Pi is defined as the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. The value has infinite digits, but for most applications, it is enough to remember its value as 3.14159. In most applications, a circle is defined by its radius rather than its diameter. The diameter is two times the radius, hence the circumference is 2 pi times the radius. There are some scientists and mathematicians who refer to the quantity 2 pi as tau. We will not use this but in case you encounter alternate videos or literature on the subject, please understand the symbolic conversion. Arc length is the path length along the perimeter of a curved path. In common literature, it is symbolized by the letter S, while commonly angles are expressed in degrees An alternate way is to express them in radians. A radian measurement is defined as the ratio of the arc length to the radius. Because the arc length of a full circle is its circumference. There are two pi radians in every rotation. Here is an example. Suppose the angular position of an object is 2.4 centimeters along an arc length around a curvature of radius 3.2 centimeters. If you divide this ratio, the angle will be 0 0.75 radians.
if you do the unit conversion, this is equivalent to 43 degrees or 0 0.12 rotations. Radian measurements are more useful when the arc length is known rather than Cartesian coordinates. The change in arc position which will be arc displacement or path length will be symbolized by lowercase l. The change in angular position is delta theta. Angular displacement measured in radians is equal to L divided by the radius. Change in position happens over time. The change in angular position over time is known as angular velocity. It is designated by lowercase omega. Change in arc position over time is the tangential velocity. Again, they are related through the radius. Omega equals V tangent over radius. The units for angular velocity are radians per second. Like their linear counterparts, these quantities are also vectors. Their direction matters. You will learn about the right-hand rule expressing these directions in a subsequent video. But initially, it will be sufficient if you express their direction with an appropriate coordinate system as clockwise or counterclockwise. Note, In many physics textbooks, it is taken for granted that the default direction of positive angular quantities is counterclockwise. However, it is still good practice to explicitly declare this 
in all your diagrams involving angular quantities.